the Unimap Edu Solutions Private Limited, cordially welcomes you to unlock your educational dreams. Hi friends, myself Ahmad Sharif. This video is brought to you by Unimap Edu Solutions Private Limited, head office Coimbatore. And today I am in BAM Institute, Berlin, Germany, with the PhD student uh, who has been completed her Masters in Non-District Testing in Dresden International University. I would like to introduce her. Hi. Uh, hello, my name is Evgenia Lugavso. I'm working at uh, Federal Institute for Materials Research and Testing in Berlin. Uh, and I was studying a master, Masters in Dresden International University and was Master of Non-Destructive Testing. So, uh, I would like to ask you a few questions, like would, which would be helping the forthcoming students. So, how was your experience in studying in uh, non-destructive testing in uh, DIU? Uh, it was really great experience. Was uh, of course like a, I'm originally coming from Kazakhstan, so it was a totally new country for me. Okay. I didn't know the language, uh, and uh, but I knew en English quite well, yeah. <laughs> so I could manage the studies very good. And we had also very international groups. So we had uh, Chinese students, and we had uh, students from Russia and from Kazakhstan. And uh, the study itself was very nice, it was a really new system, so we had, um, we didn't have a semester, like, like classical semester, conventional way, yeah. we had just uh, two weeks of a course, okay. and then we passed the exam, and then we uh, had to study a new course in two weeks or one week depending on the credits okay. and that was basically our semester. It's every, every two weeks it's a challenge. Exactly, every two weeks was a challenge because uh, usually exams bring or like tests bring a lot of uh, stress so you have to learn a lot and then you have to already in parallel learn a new subject and yeah you had to be a good time yeah, manager. Like uh, you, have, you would have been practicing a different way of studying in your home country and this is a different way and yeah. adoption takes also a little bit time. Exactly and I think the first we were making fun because uh, we didn't study in English before. Okay. I think first weeks we had dreams in English yeah. <laughs> because yeah. really it's like oh my god yeah. everything is in English and yeah it's just it's crazy. <laughs> So, as the course has been structured with uh, many universities uh, coming under one roof with the DIU, like Sutherland University or DJP course of BAM, and so what are the facilities like you would get because of this network of universities for this course? Uh, yeah, this was actually really great because we had teachers from these different institutes and research uh, direct uh, fields. So we had really like. Uh, of the art experts in the field and uh, we can learn from them and also you could choose uh, you identify which subjects you like at most which yeah. field you want to work and then you can ask directly the teacher if there are possibilities to do an internship and master thesis there and usually they don't say no so they are quite open and they always you can come and yeah so so it was like uh, working uh, during your master's for internship and your thesis in a practical field. Exactly. So that's um, where I, I mean we had it also in our country, but then you had to find kind of yourself and there because teachers were already in the course, so you could ask directly. Of course, you could find also a different one if you wanted, or you could ask a professor if he has some other connections yeah. or you want to go let's say to Siemens and work there yeah. uh, I, I'm sure he would help but here you had yeah you had a choice yeah, right? you have more choices yeah exactly and uh, would you like to tell a few things about uh, the course because it seems to be like a multidisciplinary like where you study about sound and you study about uh, views uh, like various techniques for measuring mm -hmm. so can you give an idea like it's not for one particular field of engineering so can you give it, uh, uh, options like who, who can choose this course? Um, yeah, it's very multidisciplinary. Also, uh, the field of NDT, it's the same way. So uh, our teachers, which we had, we asked what they were, what was the background. And they were from physics, some of them electrical engineering, some of them mechanical engineer. So actually, it's not important. I mean, if as soon as you studied some technical sphere, yeah. Uh, you could also be from chemistry or okay, biology, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, like technical sphere, no problem at all. You shouldn't be scared because uh, bachelor had already, so you learned most of the basics from... Your from, bachelor's. Yes, yeah. from, from bachelor's. So ma 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 yeah, math and physics should be, should be there. Yeah. And then uh, you 
just have to learn new stuff and I mean it's normal way of learning so if you don't didn't know it before you just learn it there I mean yeah that's how yeah. it works so uh, <laughs> like what are the options and job perspectives after completion of this course um, yeah, you can choose so I went for let's say in research because I wanted to be doing research uh, you can also go to industry uh, but you shouldn't forget that masters are sought not just for testing like performing the job but it's more our course was structured that the people who actually can analyze things and can develop the methods and can develop the procedures so you're actually kind of a, a inspector who tells others or who can analyze the work of others okay and but that, by that you have a responsibility because then you're the person who signed yeah. and how Professor Bola says you're then uh, should be very careful because it can be if the part was tested and it was all right on the test but then it collapsed Later. you would be the person who yeah, takes yeah. 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 so it should be very understanding the positive the and negative yeah. part uh, it's not negative but it should be very well structured that's why yeah. you are taught in this master course that you can really understand the consequences and understand all, all advantages and disadvantages of different methods. So uh, can you explain a part of uh, the course, the importance of German language in your, in your life as a student and now you are, it seems to be like a job and PhD, so can you tell like during masters and now the importance of German language? Um, so we came, nobody of us knew German, or like there were some people who studied it, but not so much. Um, we had luck because we had this Jana and she helped us a lot because we wouldn't be able to do like registration in Germany by our own. Uh, yeah, you need some German some support, person. Yeah. Yeah. So we were supported very well. Uh, so you basically you don't need German at that time. You learn then with a while some words like in you know, like in a normal yeah. conversation or yeah. ca how to ask for the way or for the tickets or the spare money, like ch change money. Um, uh, then for, for the work I was really concerned because I thought without German I wouldn't be able to find a job. Uh, not true because I, I got the job and it seems uh, so in the research it doesn't seem so important because uh, yeah everything is in English nowadays so every research paper or like master's thesis or uh, PhD thesis is in English and uh, conferences are in English so it's no, no problem uh, if you go to industry I suppose people want that you know German and of course by yourself when you live so long in the country you also want to speak it so you learn at your best. Now I can speak German uh, quite well. Yeah. So I can also work in, in German. And I think more it's important that you show if you go to industry and they require some German that you show that you can do it or you show that you want to learn it. Because you, you can say I had really, like, because this course is really hard. It's a lot of work and we didn't have extra time to learn German in the evening, okay. I mean, like in a course. That's why I did it afterwards, or like I did it during my master thesis because I had okay. a bit of more, more time. I didn't need to prepare for okay. exam, you know. <laughs> so, yep. uh, even though the the course seems to be like tiring and hard, like what do you feel now? You got into a, one of the Europe's best lab, BAM, yep. so and you are pursuing your uh, PhD. So, how do you feel? That it's, it's fruitful, right? Yeah, or exactly. It's fruitful because uh, yeah. if you work two years really hard, then you see what's what you get. So that's what I, I got. Um, I think it's all. Yeah, I think most of the studies are hard. Doesn't matter if it's in engineering or physics or math. It's really a hard time. But then, when you know all this stuff, you can apply it. It uh, gets easier. Yeah. But it also was very, very fun because of, uh, the. the point is that in Germany usually you study like in a big, you don't have a group and we had a small group and we had a lot of attention from the teachers because there were not so many students to ask, I mean we, we could ask all our questions. Uh, we had this little community and we were all in the same boat because people, they were not from Germany so they didn't have family or friends here so yeah. we had to take care of one another, we could travel all together, we had the holidays all together, or like uh, birthdays and Christmas and 
so it was really you know like we are still like a small family even though we're in different uh, different cities but um, I think that's really worth it because if you didn't have it in, in, in let's say in Russia or China there's a small group experience so that's I think the best experience you can ever get yeah. otherwise you're most of the time just by your own yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what would be your uh, a word for uh, the freshers like who have been interested towards this course um, yeah so I think you should miss care about the course it's hard but it's manageable yeah. as soon as you're spend enough time on it and not just party every day <laughs> <laughs> uh, you you should uh, you can everyone can find something that they like so because there are so many methods in MDT in non structure testing so you can actually choose the one you like I've chosen ultrasound there are my friends chosen x-rays so you really can find where you're performing better or what you're really excited yeah, about good yeah good at it. and then you can choose this one uh, the field is small but developing and it's uh, with every year getting more attention because it's about yeah i told you about safety so you have to uh, perform the test to make some components like airplanes or nuclear power plants safer so it's you would have a job anyway yeah. <laughs> yeah so it's not like um, you know a lot of uh, lawyers or economists who then kind of find a job because it just feel this oversaturated so actually there are no uh, students who taught such things yeah it's like one of the unique course like where this is not like a uh, produce huge number yeah so, exactly so, so I, I i've heard that now it's it grew but it's still a year let's say in two years you get 20 students out yeah. for 25 we were 12 and yeah, but it's really a small amount when you need and you're already, the problem is that the people, for example, if you studied physics and then you want to work in the field, yeah. you come and you don't know anything about this method, so you have to learn, you have to learn where it was applied. Yeah. You can do that, it's also okay, you need, but you need, it needs time and by us, we just learn it and then we already knew and we already knew if I need some complementary method in my my PhD, so I know where to go. Oh, I know yeah. what, what to use. So, so as your uh, this course has a unique number of uh, a moderate number, like 20, 25 per year. So you have a very good demand for uh, in the market in the research field also because the quality product comes out when it is small. Exactly. So and uh, yeah, exactly because you have all all attention. Yeah. You have just 25 of you uh, of course there are like ones which are a bit better ones which are not so good but still more or less uh, the average level stays the same at the end of the course and uh, I think it's okay we were I was in the first year but I think now with the years more people know about the course so it would be and I think it's also a good call because uh, people know that they are very good specialists or experts coming out of the yeah. stu good students coming out of the course so they As want this is an emerging hire. technology exactly so they want yeah. also to to hire you and uh, yeah yeah it has been nice talking to you and yeah. thanks for your valuable time thank you yeah. you can register with us through our portal so join us and be at the pinnacle of education through the best service provider we keep your data protected and we are determined to connect the world to Germany with our amicable assistance. For further details, visit us at www.unimap.in.